Exciting news from Ghana, where a member of parliament, Kennedy Japon, is constructing a cardiothoracic center at the 37 Military Hospital. The 37 Military Hospital is one of the major hospitals in the country. This new center is said to be a game changer for the country's healthcare system, providing state-of-the-art medical facilities to those suffering from heart diseases. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the impact of this facility, the facilities that will be available at the center, and what this means for the future of healthcare in Ghana. So, without further ado, let's get started. The MP Kennedy Japon is a well-known figure in Ghanaian politics, having served as an MP for over two decades, Representing the Asin Central constituency in the central region of Ghana, Ejapon has contributed significantly to the development of Ghana, with a focus on infrastructure and education. He has undertaken various projects, including the construction of schools, hospitals and roads, that have helped to improve the lives of people in his constituency and beyond. Despite being an influential figure in Ghanaian politics, Ejapon has faced criticism for his controversial and sometimes incendiary comments, which have sparked controversy and accusations of hate speech. However, his contributions to Ghana's development have earned the respect and admiration from his constituents and across the country. Ejapon's commitment to improving education, healthcare, and infrastructure in his constituency has had a positive impact on the lives of many Ghanaians. His work has improved access to quality education, healthcare, and paved the way for economic growth in its constituency. Facilities The Cardiothoracic Center, with its 80-bed capacity, will be a state-of-the-art medical facility that will transform the healthcare landscape in Ghana. The center will offer a range of essential medical services, including a cardiothoracic training center and conference room, VVIP clinic, executive clinic, dialysis unit, x-ray unit, robotic unit, pharmacy, and outpatient department. Among the key features of the center are its advanced medical facilities, such as three operational rooms that are equipped with the latest surgical equipment. Additionally, the center will have two catheterization laboratories, an echocardiography lab, and a cardiology clinic. Furthermore, there will be two intensive care units with a total of 10 beds each staffed by experienced nurses and doctors who are specialized in the care of critically ill patients. The Cardiothoracic Center's training center will be used to train medical students and doctors in cardiothoracic surgery and other related fields, ensuring that Ghana has a steady supply of qualified medical professionals who are able to provide high-quality healthcare patients with heart diseases. The Cardiothoracic Center will be a significant addition to Ghana's healthcare system, improving the lives of many people with heart diseases. Before we go on, please subscribe to the channel for more videos on geopolitics and development healthcare benefits the construction of the cardiothoracic center is part of the mp's larger plan to improve healthcare in ghana he has made similar donations towards the construction of hospitals and clinics in the country he is also aware of the high cost of treatment for heart diseases which often forces people to travel abroad for care he believes that everyone deserves access to quality health care regardless of their ability to pay he is committed to making ghana a country where everyone can get the care they need when they need it Kennedy Japan donation is a major boost to Ghana's healthcare system and will help to improve the lives of many people with heart diseases. It is also a sign of his commitment to making Ghana a better place for all. Cardio healthcare in Ghana Heart diseases have been a significant challenge in Ghana, with many people having to travel abroad for treatment due to lack of adequate medical facilities in the country. The construction of the Cardiothoracic Center will go a long way in addressing this issue by providing essential medical services to people with heart diseases. With a capacity of 80 beds as previously stated and stated of the arts medical facilities. The center will not only provide much needed medical attention but also reduce the burden of healthcare expenses for many families in Ghana. By providing a platform for medical students and doctors to gain practical experience and training, the center will contribute to the development of a skilled workforce capable of addressing the healthcare needs of Ghanaians. Government's appreciation. The health minister, Kweku Ajimamenu, described Kennedy Japan's contribution as a major boost to the healthcare system in Ghana. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos I upload. And if you are interested in learning more about projects ongoing in Ghana, you would be fascinated to learn about the expansion of the Kumasi International Airport and how it will allow the airport to host the world's largest aircraft. We covered that in our previous video, so be sure to check it out before leaving. We'll see you another time.